Welcome, welcome back to the Magic Hours. I am Zoe Flowers. Let's get into this December reading. All right. Hearing a couple things. Keywords. Write this down. Keywords for December. Let's get ready to rumble. And you shook me all night long. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Hmm? This is kind of the new way I'm doing readings. I get these keywords, then I get clarification. Let's get ready to rumble. Shook me all night long. All right. We hope that the shook me all night long is schmexual. Let's start with that. Now they want to start with rumble. Okay. Hmm. All right. Clarification on rumble. What is the clarification on rumble? What is the clarification on rumble? Spirit? Okay. Also hearing gates of paradise. Gates of hell. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. So we have the death card in reverse. And then we have the judgment card also in reverse. Let's get ready to rumble with the death card in reverse. Obviously, this makes perfect sense. Things definitely feel good not even just feel, but we're all experiencing a great turning, a great rumbling, a great internal shift. Spirit is saying though, do not judge this judgment in reverse. Do not judge this difficult. Do not judge this difficulty as a permanence. Do not just this, do not judge this difficulty. Do not judge these global events. Do not judge these new awakenings and new awarenesses incorrectly. So many of you have been stuck in the death card in reversed, not wanting to change, being tired of the drama, judgment card in reverse, but not knowing how to get out of it, not knowing how to graveyard, dig yourselves out of the depths of the gates of hell that you have buried yourself in but fear not death card again this time in the upright you will be sanctified you will be made clean gates of paradise you shook me all night long let's get ready to rumble they are both the same thing. It is for our greater transformation with this moth here. Do not fear the death, for it is the only thing that is true in your lives. You're all constantly evolving. You're constantly Dying old parts of yourself are constantly being shed like the serpent. The most important thing is what is on the inside. The shaking, the rumbling, the rattling, and the rolling is necessary 
for us all to see the truth and to be set free. More breathing exercises is needed, more meditation, more contemplation, less fear mongering, gateway in reverse, less watching and listening to things that will that are the opposite of this gateway energy with this unicorn here. Turn your head, turn your eyes, turn your ears to better and higher things. More higher, better conversations are needed. Conversations of light, conversations of love. Some would do well staying away from the family unit, the family systems, the family unit, the family systems have done great harm to the karmic shell. Black cat in reverse. Fortune meets opportunity in reverse. That is super interesting to me because that feels like this, the family unit. And I was saying some of you would do well by withdrawing yourself from the family, the family unit completely, or at least for six months to a year. So that the, your aura can be protected, your aura can be strengthened, your aura can be fortified, your trust can be regained, your love can be explored and discovered. Some of you all never experienced true love in the family system. The love that a child needs to grow and be strong. It's almost like I'm seeing the main frame of the computer needs to be rewired completely. And I think that came up in a reading that I did last week with this Knight of Swords. Big changes are afoot when you allow your main frame to be reoriented to the truth. Queen of Pentacles, and I'm sorry, the Empress in reverse. This is always the Queen is off of her heels. In order to correct the mainframe, a complete reboot, upgrade is needed in the month of December. Doesn't have to take the full month, doesn't take long. It just takes a commitment to true change. Orientate, reorientation Wow, is needed. Neptune here. And this is about illusion and um, imagination. Yeah. Yeah. When we're talking about the mainframe, those deep seated beliefs, those core beliefs need to be redistributed in order for you to truly let your light shine, in order to let your true self come through. Wow. Calcination. Dark night of the soul. You're never too old to go through a dark night of the soul. The planet itself is going through a dark night of um mm -hmm. A dark night of the soul. And what do we have? Emotional clearing in the reverse. The entire planet is going through this. So how could we, how could you think that you would not be going through this as well if the whole planet is going through it? And so releasing, releasing perfectionism, releasing ideas of how things should be, how things were, how things could be. I'm definitely guilty of that myself again and step through the new gateway. Step through the new gateway. December is a time of initiation. Do not be afraid to be burned, to be alchemized. Do not be afraid. Trying blessings are on the way. Angelic support, harmony, perfect flow. A union merging 
and coming together. As I said, help is on the way. We need to allow ourselves to become new, allow ourselves to become alkalized, working with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron. Heavy. For those of you that are on the God frequency, the Bible frequency, use it. That is all I have for the month of December. Please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me so much. And I will see you soon. <laughs>